All right, welcome YouTube to another quick little video. We got pickums. Uh, yeah. So basically, teams pick their opponents. I guess is what we can call it. Um, Paperx picked G two. EDG picked Team Heretics. Hundred Thieves Foot and Fnatic Gen G. Honestly, the pickums from the teams were pretty uh, interesting. It's funny. Fnatic got last pick, and they they pulled the short straw. They pulled Gen G. So, uh, yeah, th things are pretty interesting, let's say that. Um, we got some banger games, like actual banger games. Um, who am I going to pick? Who do I think is going to win the event? We'll have to see. Um, to be honest, I don't really know who I'm picking for some of these games. I think some of them are a lot easier than others, and then some are like, what, where do you go, you know? Um Paper X G2 first game. I think this should be pretty straightforward. Like Paper X would have to. I don't even know. Like they'd have to fall under an illness the day of the event um, to lose this game, in my opinion. Um, I mean, G2 have shown quite a lot. Um, they're probably a little tired, I would say. Uh, probably not, actually, just because they've had a couple days rest because they qualified quite quickly. Um, so, yeah, we'll go Paper X against G2. Paper X are going to win that. EDG Team Heretics. Okay. This is where it gets interesting. I would probably say Team Heretics, but I think I'm going to go with EDG. After seeing some of Team Heretics' games, like today against FPX, and then when they played against G2... I think EDG can win this. I think they've got the home crowd. They've got everything in their favor. They can watch Team Heretics. They can analyze all their games. And I think Team Heretics just don't look as strong as they, they did in Masters Madrid, but also in the uh, Spring Split. So I'm going to go EDG. But if I was to give percentages of who can win this, I would say 70-30 or 60-40, um, of course, being in favor of EDG. Um, we'll leave this game for later, and we'll keep going down. 100 Thieves Foot. Okay. I need to talk about this, because I spoke about this with a couple people on Twitter. 100 Thieves. This could be the first example of this format being extremely funny in terms of 100 Thieves have picked Foot, all right? They can't lose this, otherwise they look like clowns. That's That goes for every team in this, other than maybe Fnatic, because they couldn't pick. Um, there's a couple factors can, that can impact this game. One of them, Foot are already adjusted to the stage, and they look pretty good. The mechanics are like on par with... The, the mechanics are the best. Um, on par with like Paper X, maybe, and like Gen G. But I think 100 Thieves, you've got to remember that a lot of these players haven't been to an international event for a long time. Lock-in was the only event that they qualified for last year, and you don't even have to qualify for it. You just have to be in franchising. So these guys could get pressured. Now, what everyone's probably going to reply to that is, yeah, but they've got Bustio. Bustio, funny, cocky, arrogant, whatever you want to call him. He's a big ball of energy and confidence. I think, yeah, this might help. But it can only help too much, so much, because Bustio's, whilst being confident and arrogant and cocky or whatever, he's also putting a lot more pressure on the players than they probably want. Um, like, 100 Thieves have constantly been doubted, and they've come to this event, they've yet to play. If they take a game or two to get adjusted to the stage and whatever, then that could be the, the nail in the coffin, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, I, I think this could be a, a close game. I think... 100 Thieves could, if they come out cold, Foot can take advantage of that because Foot are very, very mechanically talented. Um, and whilst 100 Thieves are on par with that, I do think that if they have quite a hard time adjusting to the stage and, you know, the crowd and everything and being on, on a different setup, it could affect them quite a lot. But if all goes well, I'll say 100 Thieves. <laughs> Fanatic Gen G. This is crazy, okay? Like, this is a banger game, but I would have liked to see it a little bit later in the se in the tournament, just because I think... Oh, I, th I have to go Gen G. I feel like I have to go Gen G. But, but that's the thing, is same again. With this, I'm thinking 60-40 in terms of Gen G. Uh, because Fnatic are good on stage, man. We can't forget it. Like... The only issue with Fnatic is they do need a couple games to really, like, get into the swing of things. 
And of course, with this format, you're not given that. And they've placed first seed of the EMEA. So you've had no warm-up games. You can't just keep going as you go along. And I think Genji, they're coming in warm whilst also having a bit of a break. So to be honest, I think I think Genji take this and Fnatic. They're gonna have to do a lowers, aren't they? Really? Um Alright. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Paper X are gonna win this event. Um Touch wood. Uh, but Paper X are going to win this event, and they're going to be EDG. I think this will be a bit of a smoke as well, to be honest. I think... I mean, what? When they played in Madrid, there wasn't it a smoke as well, or was it loud that rinsed them? I, either way, I think Paper X come out with this on top. 100 Thieves Genji. Banger series! Absolute banger game, okay? Genji are winning this. If Genji don't win this... Ah, I can't do with Boostios yapping on Twitter, bro. This is it. Genji have to close this out, all right? Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's insane to me. I'm not even joking. I think Gen G are one of the best, like, obviously they're the best, one of the best teams in the world, but actually like if, if this was an American team or an EMEA, there is no way that you can compete in Masters Madrid first split as well as kickoff. And make a deep run in this as well. That's insane. Like the fact that these guys haven't been exhausted or burnt out or, or we've like not a severe dip in their performance is kind of crazy. Like they're not Madrid sort of quality, but they are still so dominant and you can't underestimate them. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with Genji here. Um, am I? Yeah, I have to go Genji. Genji's in my heart, man. Um, Paper X Genji upper final. I think Paper X are winning that. And then lower bracket, I think rematch, Team Heretics win this. Trust in the process, all right? First one was a complete wishy-washy performance from Heretics. Heretics are coming back and beating G2. 100 Thieves, Team Heretics. 100 Thieves. Foot Fnatic. Fnatic. EDG Fnatic. That's a crazy game. Ah, do I think EDG win that? I don't know, e EDG are such a, like a 50-50 team because I can think of them and I can go, God, what a talented roster. Like every one of them is aimers. They're all like the best in their role in China. It's like, I always think of them being really insane. But then when it comes to these events, they always let me down. So I think I'm going to have to go Fnatic. And I think at this point, they should be pretty warmed up. So we should see like Prime Fnatic come out. Um, 100 Thieves Fnatic. That's a crazy game again, you know. I'm not even joking. This is getting me hyped. Fnatic. And then Genji Fnatic Final. Okay. This is completely, like, out of pocket. Fnatic are winning this. And then Paper X. If this is the tournament that we're getting, guys, we are in for a treat. Like, honestly, this is one of the best things that the world can give right now. Like, that's crazy. If we get a Fnatic Paper X final, the storyline, Fnatic losing, lose their opening match against Gen G, come back through lowers, beat Gen G in the lower final, and then come second, that would be a crazy storyline, though. Guys, I think I'm going to have to go with this. I have to go with this. My only issue, the dark horse for me right now is 100 Thieves. Because as good as they are, I have my doubts. Like, I really do have my doubts. But I'm going to go with this. All right, I'm going to go with this. If I'm going to lose any of these predictions, it's going to be the 100 Thieves games. Okay? They're not going to lose against Foot. They, they could beat Genji and they could beat Fnatic if it does come to this. But yeah. All right, that's it for this video. Banger pickums, banger matches all around. Make sure we tune into the games. And yeah, if you like the video, subscribe, like. If you disagree with any of my takes, if you think, what a brain dead prediction, put it in the comments. I'm loving the comments, guys. It keeps me engaged and it keeps me passionate about making more videos. If you have any video suggestions, put them in the comments. I will also read that and try my best to do it. If you want like a, an analysis or a ranked guide or anything like that, Put it in and I'll do my best. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let's hope, let's hope we get 100%, all right? But yeah, that's it. All right, enjoy the rest of your night. Bye-bye.